Welcome to my house, Buck here. We're off on another mission. If you just watched the first video in this series, it was a tour mission for out in California. We're out there at the San Joaquin Delta. We're gonna head out now and start mission number one, exploration one. Now, the fish we're gonna go after is gonna be the California roach. Um, what else do we need? Uh, we need the bluegill, we need the red ear sunfish, we need a white crappie. Um, what else? What else? Oh, and the largemouth and smallmouth bass. So that's what we're after. So with that being said, we know the lake already. We know what we're in for. We know what we're going to fish. Let's jump over, take a look at the weapons that we're going to take with us. All right. In our first slot. Where did my mouse go? It's on the wrong screen, I'm sure. Yes, it is. There it is, there it is. Okay, slot one. We're gonna take our Nero 1410 with a Bremer 4000. Now we're looking at, now this boat, this is for the panfish. And you know, it's a little bit heavy. I like to use the my Omni float down there, and like seven and a half pounder for these little panfish in these missions. But uh, this will do the job. And it's, it's a little more versatile. And for some of these bass, a 13 pound rod works out pretty good. But for these little California roaches and some of the bluegills, it's a little tough to, to feel the bite. But we've got a nice um, slider on here, so we should be all right with that. So, with that being said, we got a level 15 pole and a level 20 reel on there. Now, in our second position, we're going to take a little, we're going to take a little bigger of a spinning rod. We got the Lucky Spin A10 with the Lucky Reel 6500. That's 28 pound gear right there. And <clears throat> that particular rod, where's my stuff at there? That's a level 35 and, 30, and level 37 reel. Okay, so this is a level 34 waterway. All right, position three. We're gonna take a Brutus, a Brutus 1110. We got him with a Mega Tank 7000 on him. Now the Brutus and the Mega Tank. The Brutus is a level 37. Now, right here. Nope, the Brutus is a level 34 and the Mega Tank is a level 38. In the fourth position, we've got a Jig Winner 810 with a Bremer 5000. Now, the Jig Winner 810 is level 20 and the Bremer 5000 is a level 24. I like this spinning rider. This is my favorite ultralight and I like to bring along just because of the versatility of how much of a lure range that I can throw with this rod and you can throw this rod a ton. It'll throw 200 feet with that reel on there. All right, in our fifth position. Now we're gonna head, we're gonna hunt a little bit for, now this third position, the reason I talked this, that we're gonna use this guy with the with the, uh, the duck muscle meat on is this is my the rod that we're gonna go after the carp and some of those uh, striped bass with. Perfectly, perfect setup for that. Uh, now number five, we're gonna take the bottom sniper 1010 with a Mega Tank 6000 on there. Now that bottom sniper is a level 20, uh, level 26, and the Mega Tank is uh, level 36. I'm sorry, and the Mega Tank 6000 is level 36. And we're gonna use them. Got the shiners on there. That's mainly gonna be used for catching those big striped bass. 06, we've got a heavy chaser 910 with the ambusher 9000 on that. Now, the heavy chaser is level 42, the ambusher 9000 is a level 42. That's for the sturgeon, that's a 56 pound pole. These, these fish get up to 50 pounds, and we're gonna put spawn sacks on them with them. And in the last position, seven is the big guy, the La Cazadora 102 SE. That's a 68 three pound pole. And we're running the large minnows on him. Now that's a level 54 pole, guys. And that's a level 64 reel. I'm here to farm, so <laughs> I need to yank these guys in and it works real well. We'll see how that works out nice for us. All right, with that being said, let's go. What baits are we taking? Well, as always, I'm, it doesn't matter what they hit on, I have it. But what we are taking, Oh, there they are. 
Um, <clears throat> mainly what we want <clears throat> for the first mission, we're going to use dough balls, semolina, and red worms. I mean, that's that's what we use all the time for these panfish. Now, I am going to take along. Um, we're going to have some small minnows out there if we need them. And, of course, you know, you take your blood, your maggots, your crickets, blood worms, marshmallows. You, you want all that when you're fishing for panfish. You don't know what, you don't know what it's going to happen that day and what they're going to be hitting on. And for our second missions, for, and in that one, we're going after the catfish, the carp, and steelhead, and the bigger fish. So we'll be taking some cheese and night crawlers, a little bit of corn for the carp. Actually, we won't even put any corn on there. That duck muscle will get us every carp that we need. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, dun -dun -dun. I think we can get down there. We're going to start at Fishing the Beaver. I, I like this spot. Um, we'll start off there. If we have a little trouble getting the smally, we'll... Uh, We'll jump over here to the dock, but we should be able to grab the smallie over here by this. We'll be able to throw because you can. We'll be able to throw from here all, all the way up close to this uh, green building over here. So, and the smallies are, are sitting over in here, so we should be able to. Hit them. All right, let's get down there and let's get going. All right, here we are. So let's, we got our salmonella balls on. Let's, uh, let's see if we can grab that little. What do we set at? We set it at 32 inches. That's a little deep. Let's come up a little bit. That's about good. Enough. Let's see if we can get that. California roach out of there. Uh-oh. We can't catch them. I forgot. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I got a full net. I can't catch a single fish. Can't do that. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. We got the empty fish net. Let's see what... Oh, look. Already. Oh, that's that little guy, baby. That our little roach. And there he is, California Roach. We can mark him off the list. California Roach. He's done. Alright, now let's change let's change up the bait here because the rest of them, the bluegills and, and everything else, we need some red worms on it. So I'm gonna do that real fast and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Red worms are loaded. Let's see what we can grab. Oh, dang, but oh, that's a light one. Oh, another California roach. Eat my bark. Alright, let's go over here. Get one off this side. See what we can get. Oh, we need some. Some specs on there we go all right let's see what happens all right let's, <clears throat> let's see who's knocking on the door blue gill oh you got to be kidding me another one of them guys <clears throat> all right And there's our bluegill. Knock him off the list. One bluegill down. All right. Let's see what else we got out there. Oh, what we got here? Another bluegill. Not what we want. We need the red ear sunfish. Let's take a walk over here a little bit. We'll go this way. That same hole, but... A little bit deeper over here. 
Let's see what happens. There we go. Go ding right away. Let's see. Come on, boy. Eat that worm. There he is. The red ear subfish. We got it. I knew he was in there. Alright. We need white crappie and then both the bass. Alright. Changing my bait here. Okay, guys. Back. <clears throat> Same hook size. Uh, that that went the small minnows on there, and that, of course, I had to change the bobber because they're just a little bit heavier. So, go out here on the end here. Oop, wrong way there, Buck. Been drinking today, Buck. What the hell? Let's throw out there and see if we can grab up one of these. My crap is real quick. We got a lot of bait fish swimming around off this point. Let's see what we can get. Oh, there we go. What we got? And there's a trophy a white crappie. So, we'll take him now, won't we? Now we need a largemouth bass and a smallmouth bass. So, for them, let's see where we want to start. Let's go over here. See what we can, see what we can drum up. Over there. I think this we should get a largemouth bass on that side. Those bushes. Let's see what we get. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Buck. Pull back in there. 24 inches. We don't want that. A little bit deeper. Let's go down to 20. Go to 31. I like 30. I like 31. Let's go there. Oh, guess what else you didn't do, Buck? Look at the hook size. You're fishing for paying fish. We're fishing for bass, buddy. All right, folks. Let me change that hook size. That's the wrong hook size. We want a one odd on there. Be right back. All right, guys. I'm back with a one odd hook. So let's try this again. Take a look up. Oh, zoom's doing good right now. There we go. Oh, there we are. Alright. Let's have a look and see what happens. There he is. What do we got? Could be a bass. And there's our largemouth bass. We can knock him off the list. One to go. Smally. Alright, let's not mess around. Let's just throw this thing right up in there and get him. He's right up there as far as you can throw it towards that green building. And go up in there. I said, I love this rod and reel set up 229 feet. There we go. Right. Oh, we got a ding already? Well, we might as well have just wait and see what happens. Of course, that could be good. down to 16% on my line. 
Don't to worry about that though, folks. That line will work till it gets down to zero. Oh, what are you doing here? Money though. Thank you very much. You're in the next mission. Alright, let's go back and get my small moth bath up over there. Alright. We're in a good spot. Let's see who breaks next. Well, somebody bit our line. Let's see who we got here. Hmm. Not fighting very hard now, is it? Huh. Could it be what we want? Did see one jump out there. Smallies usually jump a little more than that. Smallmouth Bath, and that completes Samuel King Delta Exploration Number One. Let's mark him off the list. Smallmouth Bass. All right, fellas, that's a good deal. We'll keep him. All right. Well, guys, that does it for Exploration Number One. We're headed off now for exploration number two, where we get a bait coin, 2,500 bucks. And what else we got? We get a crankbait. Oh, the glow. The glow and a nighttime crankbait. The three-foot or two-eye. That's a nice little lure to have. All right, what are we going after? We're going after the goofy white catfish, the common carp, the steelhead, which we've already caught, the striped bass, which we've already caught, Going after the Chinook salmon, though. We haven't caught him yet. And the white sturgeon. That's going to be a lot of fun on that one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Remember, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. YouTube boys will let you know. We'll get the next one on here right away. Most tick. All right. Take it easy. Remember, never, ever give up the fight. We'll see you later. Listen to the creature.